This is aggression and anger the troops are always ready for. Although rioting isn't common on the island, with no agreement in sight between the Turkish and Greek Cypriots, it is a constant threat and is something UN forces must prepare for. But for British soldiers more used to combat operations, using shields and batons is something new. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's different from normal soldiering. It's quite hot and sweaty, but it gets you in the thick of it. Something different to what you'd be doing if you were on tour elsewhere? Yeah, completely different. All right, we get adrenaline blast sometimes. It's different from everyday soldiering. Whilst this is just training, it's designed to be as realistic as possible. The soldier's role is to face the threat head on and bring the situation under control. And you can see just how aggressive this could get, but this is more than just training. Here, British troops are working alongside soldiers from Hungary, Slovakia and Argentina, who would normally be patrolling other parts of Cyprus's buffer zone. We've got some personnel from Sector 2 who are going to play the role as the protesters. For the purposes of this demonstration, we've only got 11 personnel. However, in reality, we might face crowds of up to 800. In stark contrast, training takes place outside Nicosia's deserted airport terminal. The place saw some of the most intense fighting in the 1970s and now lies abandoned in the heart of the buffer zone. But the relics of a busy airport are still clear. It gives a sense of the division on this island and troops are permanently on standby should tensions rise again. We've always got one platoon who are on, so 22 packs, um, on two hours notice to move at any time. They have been called upon several times during their tour here. Thankfully, their intimidating presence alone has deterred protesters turning violent so far. David Wood, ITV News, Nicosia.